Hi everyone, welcome to Simeo Art. It's K here. And today I'm going to show you how to draw a rose. So you start off with this circle and then on it you can list the petals that are coming off of it in such a way uh, you can see here the way I started them. They're kind of like a heart shape and they're coming off of a circle and then they go down all the way to where you are uh, your first shape of the heart connects on the bottom. So now I'm going back over it and I'm making them uh, more vivid. So now that I figured out that they were exactly where I wanted them, I'll go back on them and make them a little bit more vivid. And you can see right now, a kind of a bloomed rose is out. Now we go to the color. So what's gonna happen? I'm gonna start off with kind of a light color, especially due to the fact that I have these uh, lines in place already. So I kind of lessen where I want the color to go, but on top of that, I'm leaving and preserving the little white um, highlights close to where the petals end. You can see where they start from is where I have the darker kind of red, and where they end is where I have uh, uh, preserved the highlights. So this is just a quick rendering, it's not going to be a photorealistic rose, but I just wanted to show you guys a quick way of how to draw a rose. It's not a step-by-step -step, uh, format because I did it on um, Autodesk sketchbook so I kind of recorded uh, the time-lapse video for it but yeah it gives you a, a really good picture of how you can render out the rows uh, from beginning to the end and now you can see it has all the highlights now shown and the red I've darkened it in places that I want it to be dark and preserve the highlights towards the end of the petals and I can try to smoothen it out a little bit right there and I think that's pretty good enough so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and do my signature which is usually the bubbles that I usually put in my drawings and I'm going to do that and I'm going to leave it on here too so you know it's kind of an identification mark that most of the artists have so let me go ahead by the way, this is how you draw a bubble. So you start off with a circle that is vivid and then you shed on top of it a little darker and on the bottom of it, you leave it a little bit lighter and you preserve kind of a white highlight in the middle. And then you have to go back on top and do kind of uh, a highlight, like really pure white, which you also do on the bottom. Now that I'm doing this digitally, I can literally just copy that and you know manipulate it by adding it to the rows. Usually these bubbles look good if they're like more than two or 